Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to set up alerts in Thinkorswim using both email and text messages. So if you don't have this set up already, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Setup, and you want to go to Application Settings, and then you want to go to Notifications. Um, on this screen here, what you want to do if you haven't already done this is you want to set up both an email address and a phone number to text to. Um, either one, you can do both. Uh, once you set that up, you'll get a confirmation code. You'll need to then enter in the confirmation code before it will be confirmed. Once it is confirmed, you want to go down and click on alert is triggered right here. And then you can choose if you want to get an email, a text message, um, or push notifications to mobile devices. I find that the emails and text messages work a little faster than the push notifications. Um, but anyway, that is going to be how you're going to want to set that up. Once you're done there, you want to save that. And now that you have that set up, I feel the two most um, common types of alerts is going to be uh, like say an alert for price on a chart or an alert for a scan setting. Um, so the first thing I want to do, we'll show you a chart and what you want to do anywhere inside the chart, just right click and you'll go down to create alert. And from this point, we can see the symbol is SPY and this is going to be an actual stock price alert. So right now, um, we can set the alert price to basically whatever price we want it to be. So, you know, let's say 390. We just want to say at or below. So if we set this alert up right here, anytime SPY drops below 390, we would get an alert. And then we can come down to notify with. And at this point, we can choose if it's going to be an email, a text message or whatever. And then we can also decide how often we want this to be sent. Um, we can have it start and stop at a specific time. But that's going to be how you're going to create an alert like that. Another um, alert that you can set up, and I feel not many people know this, is if you like to draw trend lines, and you can see that I do here, you can actually get an alert for any time a stock crosses a trend line. So if we want to just highlight the trend line here, we can right click it, and then we can do create an alert with the drawing. And now any time the stock crosses above or below this trend line, whatever we choose right here, we will get an alert letting us know that it's crossed this trend line. And you can do this with pretty much all the drawings that I found. Um, so that's another alert that you can do that I feel not many people use. And then lastly, you have alerts for scans. So anytime you build a scan in here, um, it doesn't matter really, what, matter really what type of scan it is. But to create an alert with a scan, after you've built your scan and you've saved it, you want to just come right here to this box, you click on it, and then alert when scan results change. You click on that, and then obviously you'll need to name the scan if it's not already named. And then once again, you'll choose notify with. Uh, right now I use email alerts. And then you want to choose um, you know, how often. So right here we can do a message for every change. Or we can do a list that's either hourly, you can do daily or weekly. And, you know, once you set this, you can also set the time that that alert will come through, as well as cancel those alerts right here as well. Um, one last thing, once you have set these alerts up, if you decide that you don't want to use these alerts anymore, the thing to do will be to go over to the Market Watch tab right here and go to Alerts. And we're already there. Now, once you're in here, all you have to do is just right click it and then you can cancel the alert. And that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.